Today's rain and snow turned some eyes to local waterways in a county no stranger to flooding. Much of Schoolkill County was under a flood warning today, more than a half year after devastating summer flooding. Eyewitness News reporter Rachel Espiot shows us how the ongoing flood recovery is now getting a faraway boost there. AMERICORPS VOLUNTEERS HAVE THEIR POWER TOOLS READY. ANDREA SANCHEZ CAME ALL THE WAY FROM EL PASO, TEXAS. AS SHE AND THE 10 OTHER AMERICORPS VOLUNTEERS HELPED PUT THESE DRY WALLS UP AT THE TREMONT EMS BUILDING. HOPEFULLY BEING ABLE TO FIX THEM IN A WAY WHERE IT CAN'T HAPPEN AGAIN AND JUST TRYING TO GET THAT DONE. THE FLOOD WATERS RUINED THE WOOD FLOORS, WHICH ARE ALSO NOW BEING REPLACED. The floods hit last summer, and some repairs have already been made. But the volunteers were amazed to see what still needs to be done. It was upsetting to see kind of how much work there still is left, um, but we're glad that we're able to make an impact. The 10 month America program these volunteers are a part of are intensive community service projects. Tremont Mayor Ricky A. Nye Jr. says the EMS station, which is staffed by volunteers, has had limited resources to get the needed repairs done. Obviously, 365, 24 hours a day, and with the, you know a selected small amount of volunteers, I assume just trying to get all the projects done. You know, so this will be a very big help. The Tremont EMS building is not their only project in Schuylkill County. There are a few other locations and residents they're helping here in Tremont and in Tower City. In Tremont, Rachel Espiat, Eyewitness News. This group of AmeriCorps volunteers will be helping in Schoolkill County until April 4th.